welcome ladies and gentlemen to another Steel Division Guide. Today we're going to be looking at the Second Guards Tankovi. One of the best decks in the entire game. Um, what do I have to say? Why is it the best? Well, the spam. The sheer amount of firepower that you have in this deck. Um, let's go through this deck. Strengths and weaknesses. Uh, we'll go through my jug build and then we'll go through a 1v1 version towards the end of the video. or like halfway through. Anyway, let's get into this. Let's start with the recon tab. What do you get? You get plenty of options here. First of all, I'll get Ravzekas. I uh, can't go wrong. They're just bazooka men. You get four cards. Get more cards than you have availability. You only have three slots. But um, if you want to bring all three, you can. So I uh, also get the B temps. Can't go wrong here. Get some just some standard infantry. Get some uh, options with the vehicles. Uh, I wouldn't recommend anything else. So pretty much, maybe I actually could recommend this a little bit. It's got a little, you know, nice uh, 30 cal, I believe, on it. Or is it a 50 cal? I, I don't know. It's it's a big caliber. It does some damage. Uh, it has yeah, it's 50 cal. Actually, this could be actually pretty worth it. 15 points, it's an armor uh, half track, um, but the squad is kind of terrible. Um, you can bring these if you want, just some recon infantry. Uh, you have some variety of vehicles again, um, but yeah, pretty much the same, exactly the same actually. And then you also have um, your little useless. This thing's completely useless. It doesn't have radios. I don't really know why this would be brought. And then you also get a T-34-76. Uh, which actually can be pretty good, a light tank, medium tank, which you're not really going to be meeting, being that you have infinite tanks. But let us move on now to the infantry tab. Um, nothing to write home about, honestly. It's just a standard Russian inf uh, infantry track. It's got tents and Niki, which you can bring in the 50 cal half tracks. Uh, you get 18 half tracks here, so you can bring the tents and Niki and B and get you know 18 50 cal half tracks. Uh, you also get Sapiri, you get some more Sapiri, you get two cards. Um, you also get plenty of Gavardi DP and Gavardi, just normal Gavardi. You also get plenty of Automachiki if you're feeling like you need a lot of SMG infantry. Um, you also get Sapiri. I don't know why you bring these guys though. They're trash. 10 points. Died everything. Don't bring them. Um, leader wise, you get some options actually. Uh, you get the Panzerfaust leader. You can bring it and nothing too special. Um, uh, same with, uh, these guys. You can bring a 50 cal half track though, I must say. But, um, this is, you know, just smoke. And then this is actually a unit that's kind of interesting. Uh, it comes with a sniper team, and actually it's pretty strong. You gotta be wary though that this actually they'll fire like all the time. You know, it's a thousand meter range. It does reveal the commander or leader, sorry, the leader regularly. It does come with anti tank grenade as well, which is kind of nice. Too bad it doesn't come with smoke. You know, that would be freaking awesome. Um. Anyway, infantry tab, not much availability. It's pretty. Uh, you know, you have not that much infantry in general, but enough for a one v one and enough to. Hold the line, and what it really comes down to is the beautiful, the magnificent tank tab. This from this is a true tank spam deck. I mean, look at this, 77 tanks. And let me tell you, this is deceiving because there's a couple more here. And if I really wanted to, if I really was feeling a little dirty, I could bring T cards, SU85s. But let's get to the tank tab. First of all, you get plenty of T3045s. You get uh, the 52 of the 55 point model, which is a 76, uh, 43. And then you also get 60 points, the 42, which is pretty good as well. Um, you also get a leader card if you're feeling it. You also get a two cards, the T3045 leader card. And then it becomes, you have two options in the T3045 department. You have the one with the APCR and the one without the APCR. Uh, APCR one is a magnificent, it is the Panther Killer, 1500 range. You'll destroy Panthers. And that's why these things are awesome because the Panther is 130 points, 120 points uh, on average. Depending if it's Panther D or Panther A or Panther G. And yours is only 110, so you're trading pretty good. You want to vet these guys, you vet them with leaders, you'll just absolutely mill people down. Uh, T3045s without the APCR are just cheaper. Um, but why bring those when you can just bring four cards of the APCR version? And then you also have five cards of the normal 85 without the APCR round. So that's tank tab. You get tons of availability. It goes uh, 8 for the 43, 16, 22. For this, this one, you also get 8, 6, 12, 18. T3045 without the APCR goes 4, 8, 16. And then with the APCR, 3, 6, 15. So losing a couple tanks for the APCR, but having a, you just have an infinite tank. So why do you even need that many? I mean, it's crazy that I have this money. Um, moving on, though, to support tab. Actually, kind of interesting support time. Get your flamethrowers, get your maxims. You can choose between the maxims or the SG43. I believe the maxims are just a superior. Uh, the SG43, I don't know what it is, but it doesn't feel like it performs. Um, get some ammo trucks if you want. You only have two, you have three cards of ammo. Get you get three options of commander. 
Uh, you can also bring the T-35, T-3045 commander if you're really feeling like you want to be a frontline tank. But the unique thing is the SU-1, sorry, the ISU-152. This thing fires an AP round, 165. It destroys Panthers. It is nasty. But it also fires a giant derp HD shell that just destroys AT guns and any other thing. And in fact, it'll mess up infantry as well. I mean, sorry, it mess up tanks as well. Not it obviously kills infantry. This thing looks derpy though. Um, its frontal armor is actually pretty good, 125. This thing destroys uh, Panther fours, no problem. And it will lose to Panthers at max range, so don't do that. And don't even try to fight King Tigers. Just not gonna work. And then some people are asking, what's the difference between these two vehicles? You guys look at it, tell me which one's better. One is faster and has more armor, so bring that one. Don't bring the one with less armor and slower. <laughs> AT wise, AT tab is also phenomenal. First of all, if you're playing 1v1s, you have PTRS squads that you can bring in some pretty fast transports. Um, you also get the Panzer trucks if you're really feeling like you need some German equipment. Uh, you get plenty of AT guns. You get the Fort, uh, M M42, which comes with the HE version, so it fires HE rounds as well. Plus, you get two versions. You get two of uh, the ZIS guns. You get two cards each of each one. Um, this is the assault gun version of it with slash artillery with a pretty good penetration, APCR 135. 105 with a normal AP round. The other one has no HE, but 185 penetration and 120. So really strong. If you're feeling like you need some anti-tank, uh, not that you really need to, you already have T-34, 85, the APCRs, you can bring SU-85s, which have 180 penetration, 1500, and 145 with AP. But these things are fragile as hell. And I don't know what it is, but they feel like they never hit the target and they always bounce. I don't know what it is, but they feel, it always feels that way. Uh, that's from experience. So AA tab is pretty lackluster though. Get all these little douchkas, uh, maxims. These things are trash. Don't ever bring them. They don't do anything. You also get these S. Sorry, the ZSU M17. The problem with these is the range. The range is trash, meaning that you don't actually get kills with this. You can suppress, and if it's high altitude bomber, it's gonna drop its bombs before you even start firing at it. So that's the issue with these. I recommend you just spam these uh, your 37s, which are not very good. But if you vet them, they can do some damage. You know, they're not very great, so you need a lot of them. Um, artillery wise, lacking again. Once again, you get one card off map, uh, 152, so really strong off map. Uh, you get some really good mortar, uh, get really good 82 millimeter mortar. They come in a motorcycle, it can go wrong there. And then the rest is just not such a good off map. Um, you can bring 120s, but uh, I wouldn't recommend. <laughs> um, the good thing is, you can bring ammo. Bring a B card of F-22s, you can use all eight of the ammo trucks, which is nice. Uh, get some Katushas. Katushas do not kill tanks, guys. Stop using them to kill tanks. And Trushas kill tanks. Katushas do not. Uh, these things are not very good. In fact, they take up a lot of ammo, take a long time to reload. I don't think they're that good in general. They are mobile, though, and I do recommend you could use them against mortar half-tracks if you are going to bring them. That's my forte. The air tabs actually... Pretty decent, I, I gotta say. You get the PE-2 bombers. Can't go wrong with these. High altitude bombers, and they're like heat-seeking missiles. I don't know what it is about them, but they're literally heat-seeking missiles. You get two versions of it. You can bring the 100 kilogram bombs, which, you know, they're gonna be doing suppression. They're not gonna be doing killing. And they can also bring two of the 500 kilogram bombs, which are gonna be your snipers for AT guns, assault guns, AA guns. And then you also get IL-2s if you want. Some rockets, eight of them. Uh, you know, eight rockets, so pretty strong. Uh, they don't kill tanks, though, so don't try it. They're not anti-tank, they're anti-infantry and late light AT. I get some uh, Yak 9s. Uh, I get two versions of it. You get the free French soldiers flying them as well. And you, you get a lot of fighters, honestly. It's pretty good. Let's get the IL 2 bomber. Again, this thing is not great, but the thing is, it has um, pretty good survivability. Resilience is very good, so it can take a pound and get in and out. But this bomb load is pretty lackluster, I must say. And then you get the U2 if you really feel like you need to bomb somebody and cheese. This is this thing's trash. I don't, I don't recommend ever bringing this. You get a whole bunch of them though. You can bring nine of them. Six or nine. They're only 20 points. I guess it's an opener in the beginning of the game. You can test if somebody has a fighter or force them to buy a plane and uh, make them reduce the amount of forces they have. That's just an idea though. Now let's go to the 1v1 section. I want to talk about it, how to play it. But before I go there, actually, I want to say a couple things. This deck is about depth, spam, spam and spam and getting in the face of your opponent with all your sheer number of tanks you know that's the plan of this deck it's not a artillery deck whatsoever 
So if you're playing a team game, you're gonna need to rely on your teammates for counter battery because you can't do it. Um, but you can really support your teammates all over the map with this tank, and you can go the distance with this deck. You can go for like an hour and 20 minutes and not run out of stuff. And some people, the 1v1 guys, roll back in fear hearing that number, that length of game. But it does happen in a team game, so be wary of that. But now let's go check out the 1v1 version. Now, the 1v1 version is actually a pretty, 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 pretty fun deck. Um, I think. I enjoy it immensely. First of all, it's a must take to bring the Verzek, Verzek, I can't pronounce it guys, I don't speak any Russian, I'm sorry. The Bazooka men that you get in the recon. These guys are so good. It makes your opponent have to play completely different um, in their style because they can't play aggressive knowing that these guys are around. So, really good squad. You have to bring, I don't really recommend vetting your infantry, you don't really have that much infantry as you can tell. Um, that's an Iki, actually, this is a mistake. Don't look at that. Oh my gosh, don't see it. You didn't see that. Uh, bring them in the 50 cal half tracks. Uh, they're really strong that way. Uh, you got plenty of infantry. You have tons of infantry. Um, but yeah, you're going to need to rely on those. Um, Gavardi DP. In fact, oh my god, guys. I have some errors in my deck. Don't even look at it. Okay. <laughs> infantry wise, I don't recommend vetting. You only have 64 infantry. Um, you're going to be relying a lot on your tanks in this deck and fighting in the areas where you want to be. Uh, other than that, Bring enough CQC to clear out the forest when you need to. But you're not going to be wanting to fight uh, like long, prolonged in infantry engagements without tank support. I really recommend vetting your T3045s and bringing, sorry, not T3045s, your 43s uh, models and bringing a leader with them so they're double vetted and just being all over the field with these guys. You have a lot of them. You have 14, inclu including the leaders. So that's, that's a lot of T34s. And you can just be everywhere at that and just doing damage all over the map. Uh, rely on the T3045 APCR. I recommend. They're just more cost efficient um, when you need them. But uh, if you need a cheaper tank, bring the other T3045 model. Uh, and I don't, I don't. And this is very rare. I very rarely uh, vet anything in C, but I do recommend you vet in C for this one time. Like you just have so many tanks and such good availability, it's not necessary to have it. Also, bring a leader card T3045s. Getting your tanks a double vet and potentially triple vet the commander. Your tanks performs, you know, just um, freaking amazing. So really do so. Bring plenty of AT. So if you don't want to bring an expensive tank, you have alternatives. Um, bring light AT to cover the areas that you maybe if you're pushing heavy tanks on one side of the map, you don't you know you don't have enough stuff to send over another tank. So bring plenty of that. Vet your AA. Um, I actually need to vet this. This is outdated. I'm so sorry, guys. I know I'm so unprofessional. Someone else would restart, but uh, oh whoa whoa whoa, made another mistake, guys. Put it in the wrong here. There we go. Vet your AA, you don't have a lot of it, but you know, having a one vet and then bring up a leader for these guys, I do recommend. I recommend bringing an artillery leader in B so you can save up on the infantry tab. Uh, bring these 82 millimeter mortars. These things are amazing. They can move, they have smoke, and they're just strong. And the best is they're maneuverable. Like if you need to redeploy these guys or you need to get out of the way of enemy artillery, these things are amazing for that fact. And they can move up with the forces. Off map, I bring one in B just to clear up the, the blob. And you must take these, uh, these heat seeking missile bombers. These are your. <laughs> These are your A-10s of World War II. These things are awesome. They have altitude. They don't really get shut down by AA. They're really fast. I mean, actually not that fast. But they're, for whatever reason, the fighter having to go up there messes them up. And, like, they don't get caught that often. Um, so they can drop. And they get in and out pretty quickly. I do recommend that. I bring up bringing the Yak-9s. They're really strong as well. Um, I, they're just good. They're a cheap fighter. You also get the other Yak-9s. Gotta be careful, though. You can get definitely thrashed pretty quickly um, in those cases. In fact, I, yeah, yeah, this is, this is a mistake. You need to bring another fighter, Nate, but, um, for sure. Uh, man, there's, there, I got this deck set has been uh, messed up a little bit because of the up, uh, past update, but, um, but yeah, I mean, I just have to say, like, the deck's really strong. I love it. I recommend it to everybody. Uh, it's something, a deck that never gets banned in tournaments, so it's really strong. Um, I bring the SG-43 in this deck because I'm stupid. Uh, Maxims are the way to go. You also get better availability too. So why even go with the other model? Um, God, man. Not a professional one, I know. But <laughs> this is the truth. This is a strong deck. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, guys, leave a like, leave a comment. And I'll see you guys around.